Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome to Eternal Puzzles. Today, changing zones. So zones are things like, you know, it could be in your hand, in your deck, in your void, in play. So I believe those are the uh, only four zones. This is about how one moves from one zone to another. Let's give uh, changing zones bronze shot. Now this one is deceptively difficult. So it seems easy, but it's not. Strike while you can and win this turn. So the enemy has eight life. You have 15. So your life total is fine for this turn, but I mean, obviously they're going to kill you in the next. Uh, they have a 5-5 five, five flyer, another 5-5 five, five flyer, and you have the same world, world pyre phoenix and it has entomb, draw, draw it from your void with plus 3 plus 3 with a cost increase by 3. And then you have a sandglass sentinel. When you play a spell, sandglass sentinel gets plus 4 this turn. So let's see what's in your hand. Moment of creation. Play two sentinels with uh, power and toughness equal to the number of spells in your void. And right off the bat, no spells in your void. When you play this, you won't get more than two one ones if you had played this. Predator instinct give you a killer, so we can knock that off. Uh, Oni striker charge and quick draw. So if I play this, I will have a five five, four six, and a three two. So potentially the the most damage that will go through as long as the computer blocks properly would be three now i can use a killer i could either use it on the sandglass sentinel or the warpire phoenix either way this will get plus four so let's say um let's say i do that And then I play that. I can uh, take any one of these out, it doesn't matter. So uh, this comes back from the void. And I attack with this. But because the Wall Pyre Phoenix was there to block me, it absorbed a lot of the damage. The most I can get through was six. Now. What if I could play this World Pyre Phoenix again? So this is not played out in the normal way that you would uh, normally do things, but uh, it is a very valuable tool, and that is whenever you change zones with killer, in other words, when it comes back into play, it will have the killer um, revived on it. So you have enough power to play another one of these. Here it comes again. That's the danger with this creature. Now this is left unblocked to attack. And there you go. It was a little bit tricky, but uh, yeah. It wasn't too bad. Alright, congratulations, you have beat uh, Changing Zones in Bronze. 